Halloween is close and I wanted to make a related cool project. Of course, it will involve a pumpkin. But to make it last longer, I've made a 3D printed one. So after I made a simple design and divided it in a few parts, 3D print it and give it a paint job, I had a cool looking plastic pumpkin. But I wanted to add some electronics, of course. And for that inside we have an Arduino connected to a few other parts. For light effects I'm using an addressable control LED strip. For sounds we have an MP3 module and to detect the movement a PIR sensor. The scary pumpkin will stay powered off till it detects movement. Once it detects that somebody is close it will run a few random loops and play some scary sounds. Also changing the lights colors and blinking. We will also see how a mist maker with a piezoelectric component works, even if I had a lot of problems with the 1.7 MHz circuit, but I will try to give you a few solutions. So let's see how I've made this, what parts it has, how the piezoelectric circuit works and how to connect the other modules. You have the schematic, the full part list and the STL files and also the code below of this video. So make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. A huge thank you to all my patrons for the support. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. They now have an SMT service, meaning that you could get the PCBs with all the components already mounted. You could get really nice results for your PCB projects and receive the board with all the components. Go to GLC PCB and select code now for the SMT assembly. Upload the Gerber files of the PCB. Then check assemble your PCB and select the PCB side. On the next page upload the boom and the pick and place files. Finally confirm the components you want to solder on your PCB and place your order starting from only $7. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's start with a quick part list and see what we need to make this project. Go below and download the STL files for the pumpkin. We have 3 parts for the main body and we also have a small water tank that I want to use with the piezoelectric component and create some sort of mist. We will need a few addressable LEDs from this kind of LED strip with the WS2812 driver. In this way we could control each color and LED separately. For sounds I will use a DF player with a small speaker of 4 ohms connected to its output. For better sounds consider an amplifier as well. To detect movement I will use a small PIR module that will give a high output each time it detects movement. We will also need an Arduino. In my case I will use an Arduino Nano but any other Arduino would work. Now for the fog part of this project and the extra spooky touch I've ordered a few piezoelectric ceramic transducers like these ones. But the problem that we will see later is that achieving 1.7 MHz signal for the piezoelectric resonance is not that easy. But anyway check the schematics below for a few 1.7 MHz circuits. I've also ordered a 130 kHz model but that didn't arrive yet. But we will see how this 1.7 MHz one works and how to get it to resonate. For power we could use a 12 volts battery or a 12 volts DC transformer that will be connected directly to the pumpkin. And to get 5 volts I will use a small buck converter like this one with enough power output. We will need some wires. A small DC plug like this one, a drill PCB and a few components for the mist maker circuit. Of course you will need a micro SD card for the DF player and some orange spray paint for the pumpkin. So that's pretty much all that we need for this project. Maybe also some glue, some paper, solder and also maybe some extra wires. So let's start. We begin with the 3D printed parts. I've printed these parts with PLA material. 20% infill, 2 perimeters and a 0.4mm nozzle and took me around 7 hours using 3 printers at the same time. I've designed these parts in such a way that we could later play some of these barbecue wood sticks and join all the parts together with no alignment problems. So remove all the loose filaments and maybe sand a little bit apart. The then I spray paint each part with orange color. Let the paint to dry for a few hours. Also maybe apply a second layer. Now get that water container and apply some white glue all around. And do this a few times in order to make sure that is water sealed. So apply a few layers of glue. 
Then we can glue this part on the bottom part of the pumpkin, just in front of the mouth. Add some wood sticks in the top holes of the middle part of the pumpkin. Now I glue the top and middle parts together and if needed, I apply another layer of paint. For the other two parts, we will merge these parts together after we install the electronics. So I will place the first four LEDs on the bottom part like this. Now you should cut two pieces of white paper. Now glue those on the back of each eye. So now the light will be a little bit more diffused. Now I make some small cup shaped parts with some white paper. Then I glue one LED inside of each like this, with some thin wires as well. Now I glue these parts on the back of the eye like this. In this way, we could control each eye separately and by that control the color or turn the LED on and off. Now on a small PCB I solder the DF player, with some 1K resistors and some jumpers for the RX and TX pins. Also wires for the power and for the speaker. Connect the speaker as in the schematic. Now go below and download the MP3 folder with the spooky sounds and copy that to the micro SD card. Insert the card in the DF player and make the connections to the Arduino as in the schematic. I finally changed the speaker to a bigger one for better sounds. Now connect wires from the DC jack to the back converter module. Connect 12 volts at the input and make sure that the output from the back converter is set to 5 volts. And then you can glue the potentiometer. Now power off the converter and solder it to the 5 volts input of the Arduino. Then glue the DC plug on the back of the bottom part of the pumpkin so we could power it with the DC transformer. Now I glue everything in place on the bottom part of the pumpkin and also make connections to the LEDs from the top part. Then I glue the PIR sensor on the top part of the pumpkin and connect the wires to the Arduino as well. We will later give a better look to the entire pumpkin. Ok guys, now for the piezoelectric circuit. Let's first make some tests and tell you what is wrong. This particular piezoelectric component will resonate at exactly 1.7 MHz. That vibration will be fast enough to create a void and pulverize water into very fine mist. But getting 1.7 MHz is not that easy. I connect a simple circuit that you could find below to my function generator and I apply exactly 1.7 MHz. The piezoelectric will also need higher voltage. So for that we have this MOSFET and this coil that will create higher voltage oscillations. I supply the circuit with 15 volts. Now I connect the piezoelectric component and place it into a little bit of water. And as you can see we could create water mist with it and the effect is pretty cool. But if I change the frequency a little bit below or above 1.7 MHz, it won't resonate anymore and no more mist will be created. Also, as you can see, the applied voltage from the inductor can reach up to 70 volts, even if the input is only 15 volts. I tried getting the 1.7 MHz with a small circuit, but that didn't work. Also, I found a code with the Arduino that creates such a signal. As you can see, we can get around 1.7 MHz, but the voltage is too low. The MOSFETs and the BJT transistors that I have won't work at this speed. So look what happens to the output of this transistor when I increase the frequency. We start with a good signal, and above 1 MHz the signal doesn't have time to rise and fall and the voltage will drop, and then we we'll lose the signal. I've tried high speed comparators or Schmidt triggers, but that didn't work neither. I will also leave a link below for 1.7 MHz circuit but made with a crystal oscillator but I don't have that crystal right now. My solution was to order the 113 kHz circuit and the piezoelectric resonator, but till I receive it, I've soldered the oscillation circuit on a small PCB and the 1.7 MHz piezoelectric as well. Then I glue the resonator on the water container inside of the pumpkin and paste the wires on the back, and I will apply a 1.7 MHz signal for my generator just to show you an example. As you can see, it works quite well with the 1.7 MHz from the function generator. Ok, so now upload the code to the Arduino. Go below and download and read each line in order to understand what we do. Give a test before you glue close the pumpkin case. As you can see, when there is no movement, the pumpkin will be powered off and waiting to scare somebody. But when I move in front of it, it will do stuff. The sounds and the flashy things it will do are random selected in the code. Once I tested that the code works, the detection works as well, the LEDs will light up and the sound will play, I can now close the pumpkin. So finally I add another barbecue wood stick and glue the top side of the pumpkin as well. 
So now I power up the system with 12V DC transformer and give the final test. For that we have 4 examples, so let's see them. Ok guys, so this was my project for this Halloween. I hope you like it, and if so give a like to this video. Also make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Consider supporting my projects on Patreon. So thanks again and see you later guys.